Welcome back to my channel. So yeah, you're gonna be seeing a lot to me today. I told you. Um, so Tokyo Ghoul episode, Tokyo Ghoul Re episode 11 just dropped this morning, um, in my time frame, and I have been too busy to actually watch it until just literally 20 minutes ago, 24 minutes ago, I should say. Um, so I'm gonna talk about it really briefly. Um, there is gonna be spoilers, but I will tell you before I start spoiling stuff, and I'll tell you to skip past the spoilers, so I'll put it like a time date on the actual video so you know to skip to that certain bit to get away from the spoilers so I will forewarn you and I'll give you about five seconds warning before I do that so <sighs> okay so it had everything I wanted this chapter to on um, this episode to have it did everything perfectly I'm so goddamn happy um it just went off from a high and it actually I thought the episode was going to keep going to a certain point where I'm just like going oh my god we're already up to this point in the um manga chapter but it's happening next episode which I'm thankful for um which will make a climactic end for the series because part two will be happening in October because it's been confirmed and I'm like yes anyway so you saw Hairu's death and she is best girls for as far as I'm concerned I love her character so much and I'm sad to see her go a second time because my heart was not prepared for it and yeah, it was sad. It was really sad. Uh, you saw Furuta's true character, which is great and I will get into that a little later. But yeah, you saw the uses of uh, certain quinkays in this episode as well um, and it's just... The thing I really want to talk about the most is Heisei and Tsukiyama's um, interactions. They did that to a 10. To an absolute 10. Like, Jesus. It was amazing. And I'm sitting there going... This anime, this anime adaptation is doing everything I want it to do. It's covering everything I want it to do, emphasizing everything I want it to do, and animating everything in the way I want it to be animated. So I'm just like, in the corner here. Well done. I can't wait to do a re like, review of this first half. Like, oh my god, I can't wait. I'm gonna have so much fun. Um, yeah. So next episode is gonna be hectic as hell, and it's gonna be brilliant as a climax. It's gonna be... And so I will do a reaction on that one. I will do a, like a reaction review type thing on that one. Um, 100%. Um, and then I'll do a review of the whole entire series because I'm not going to even wait that long before I do a review of it. It's going to be like the day after that I'm going to do a review of it probably. Another bit which I absolutely loved was Kane's development and her like torture scene. Um, because she got tortured. Um, and it just, the way they did that because it was good in the manga, but they did amazing in the anime, like. So, 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 so good. They are doing such a good job with the manga and the anime. Oh my god. The hype in me is skyrocketed. Um, spoilers right now. If you don't want to be spoiled, there's a little time thing, which I'm going to put somewhere here. And you skip to that time. It won't be a push link if I actually skipped the actual minutes and times and seconds thing. So I'll give you a couple seconds for you to do that so then I can get the spoiler thing in me out the way because it has to do with like development of characters, which you don't want to know. Done it? Cool, okay. So, basically, Furuta. I'll have to say, after reading the la the, the, the fourth to last chapter um, this morning and looking at the anime from this, because I haven't reread the manga since its serialization, I've been like re-watching the anime as if I'm rereading the manga at the moment and then just going back to the manga to go, oh yeah, that's followed that, and da 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 da, just making sure everything sort of core lines and stuff like that the way I want it to. Um, but after reading everything that's going on with Tokyo Ghoul and the manga lately and then watching this episode where you discover the way that Furuta is because you don't really and you don't really know uh, what he's actually like until this point like see how brutal he can be and how like distant he is from everything so it was just oh it was so good to see that again and like see that in action go oh especially after reading the last chapter i kind of just went 
Oh, that's right. That's how. Okay. Yep. Mhm. Mm you've been. You've been. His whole entire goals has been very, very prominent since day one, and I'm just like. You should have just had a foreshadow to the hell of it, like seriously. <laughs> and we're gonna see certain characters. I know it's since this is still spoilers, I'm still gonna talk about. We're gonna see certain characters' deaths in the next episode, which are going to be traumatic for the people that are watching and reading Tokyo Ghoul for the first, like Tokyo Ghoul Re for the first time. So, because I know I was shocked when I first saw it, I'm like, what? And then everything that happened after that, you're like, what? But yeah, no, this is, this is like, I think that was a pinnacle point, especially within the QFs, oh, squad, um, Quinky squad, that, uh, yeah, Quink squad, it was a very pivotal point within them, and you're just like, yeah, it's gonna be sad, it's gonna be great though, it's gonna be really, really sad, but it's gonna be great as, I'm looking forward to seeing how they're gonna adapt that certain death in the anime, because it was very impactful in the manga, but uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how they handle that. Anyway, I've talked about this for way too long now, and I need to go do a review of Book Academia, the latest episode, so ciao ciao for now! Mwah.